Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Panini, clearly Donner's football, eight box, half case, pick your team at number seven. It's a fresh case and we're chasing the mantle. All card ship, a lot of fun stuff here. Good luck everybody. There's the case, here's the final printout, here's the list. On a hump day, July 10th, 2024, 2023, clearly Donner's football, pick your team seven. Thanks, everybody, once again. Some of you won your way in via that prism pack. Thanks to the people who bought their spot straight up. Zach, you got last spot mojo with the Steelers. All right, there you go, gang. All right, let's pop open this case and let's see which uh, eight boxes we're gonna do. We got World War Z on in the background. They're in the, the medical facility scene towards the end. All right, so we've got eight right here. Got another eight right here. Looking for these ultra rare inserts, night moves, downtowns, etc., etc. So we're going to roll the die. We'll go one, two, three for the left stack, four, five, six for the right stack. And it's two left stack. This right stack will save for uh, break eight. So let me scribble eight on here really quick. See all on the right hand or left hand side are here. I mark those with eight. A little hard to see, but it's there. One autograph per box on average. And good luck. Box one, good luck, here we go. It's Jameer Gibbs to 199. CJ Stroud, nice. And Sean Clifford is our first autograph. 56 out of 99, that's for the Packers. That's gonna go to Adam who won the Packers in the filler. C.J. Stroud rated rookie card going to Michael and the Texans. Got the Texans outright. And the Jameer Gibbs will go to John and Detroit. All right, that's the start of our break. Next box. I feel like... Compared to previous years, I feel like the the uh, clearly Donners is of a higher quality. The previous years had a lot of a lot of flaking on the foil, that kind of issue, but you know, a lot better this year. They got they got the, they got it right. All right, onwards. We got Davon A. Shane to 199. That will be for the Marlins. Marlins. That'll be for the Dolphins. That'll be for Jeremy. Different Miami team. And there's our autograph, Josh Downs, rated rookie auto for the Colts. That's going to be for Adam Kupperman and the Colts.
Maybe we can find his teammate in here somewhere. There's My House Bryce Young and a Puka Nakua rated rookie for the Rams. That'll be for John. Bryce Young, Carolina, that'll go to Jeremy. Ian, is it, is it a good time to buy low on Bryce Young? I, mean, I think everyone's down on him after his rookie season, but I don't know if the coaching staff did him any favors. Maybe this year will be different. Justin Fields, 170 out of 199. And the autograph, Quinton Johnston, 149 out of 175. Rough year for him, too. But it was a first-round pick. A lot of wide receivers not in that room anymore for the Chargers. So I wonder. I wonder if he makes a step forward. That'd be good for the hobby. Chargers, Christopher with the Chargers. Another Bryce Young, there's Aiden O'Connell. Not sure, what, what do my Raiders do with Aiden O'Connell? We'll see. Apparently the rookie camps, they were part of rookie camps. I'm not sure if anybody, Minshew, Gardner Minshew or Aiden O'Connell really separated themselves from each other. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Does that mean Minshew wasn't doing as good, and Raiders gave him like a two-year deal, and or does that mean it it's a good thing because Aiden O'Connell's playing better? I don't know. I don't know who's re regressing and progressing. I would start the season with Aiden O'Connell. We know what Gardner Minshew can do. We don't know what Aiden O'Connell can do. So I say, start him first, you know, give him X number of weeks, and if it's not working well, you can easily switch to Gardner Minshew, you know what Aiden O'Connell's about, and then you can make a decision from there. Another Justin Fields, 75, Alex with the Bears. All right, I mean, maybe, maybe Aiden O'Connell turned out to be some form of Brock Purdy, that'd be awesome. Here's Josh Downs, another one, 11 out of 25 this time, nice low number for Adam with the Colts. Maybe we can find his teammate. Let's conjure up his teammate somewhere. And there's Hen and Hooker. This could be one for the future. John with the Lions. All right, four more to go. Good luck. We got blue Javante Williams, 16 out of 99. Broncos, that'll be for uh, for Adam Copperman. Nice Bijan Robbins for Atlanta, that's gonna be for Chris. And there's a Sean Clifford for the Packers, that'll be for Adam.
42 out of 100. Nick Chubb for the Browns. That's going to go to John. Cleveland, this is for you. Will Levis rated rookie. Jason Seahorn back there too and Rasheed Rice, speed racer. Will Levis will go to Chris and the Titans. There's Nick Chubb for Cleveland. This is for you, for John. Bijan for Chris S. And Javante Williams for Adam and the Broncos. Another box. Second half of this in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We have not seen anything too crazy in here just yet, so. We still got three boxes left. Miles Sanders, 009 out of 199 for Carolina. Jeremy Port with Carolina. You got a CJ Stroud, base rated rookie, and a Trey Tucker for my Raiders. Brian K with the Raiders. They're putting some pieces together. 22 out of 25. Although the tricky thing is they really need a quarterback. And if Aiden O'Connell or Gardner Minshew don't work out, and even if Gardner Minshew does work out. He's not like a long-term solution. I don't know. They're in that tricky position where they're going to probably win like eight or nine games. They're kind of in that weird middle ground that is somewhat difficult. Right? Because they're not like they can get a high draft pick, get a quarterback of the future. They end up in the... With another 16th, 17th, 18th pick or something like that. I don't know. No. People are saying it's not a deep class next year like it was this year. So. I don't know. Who knows? All right. Two more boxes to go. But training camps are opening in about a week or so for most teams. So we're going to start to see some, some of those camp battles play out. There will be, be a lot of NFL Network and baseball games for the next two and a half months or so. It's a good time of year. All right, next box, good luck. There's a Dalton Kincaid to eight, eight out of 10 that is. To 10. Buffalo. Kieran with the Buffalo Bills. Another Will Levis and an Anthony Richardson, nice. And a, another Josh Downs, this time to 49. Adam Copperman with the Colts starting his Josh Downs PC, whether he intended to or not. Different parallels. He might, might, even, might even do an autograph rainbow. There's Anthony Richardson, Jordan Addison, Quentin Johnston. Final box coming up. Does training camp and preseason affect card prices as much? You know, I'm not too sure. I suppose, I suppose with quarterbacks maybe, I feel like I've seen in the past where maybe a quarterback that no one expected, was Dak Prescott year maybe? I think maybe he wasn't slated to be the starting quarterback and maybe took the starting job or something like that? That might affect it. Quarterbacks mainly, I feel like.
Another Puka Nakua. There's Damian Pierce, 98 out of 99 for the Texans. It'll be for Michael. Yeah, hype would usually usually carries that market, right? Like, let's say if Kirk Cousins doesn't look good in the preseason, his cards tank, and then Michael Penix's cards start going up because he might be starting week one, something like that. That would kind of be the story. And there's Marvin Mims. Adam with the Denver Broncos. And we're going to close out with Parker Washington and Tyson Bajan. There you go, gang. Nice little bla Blake break of Clearly Donners to try to get to Clearly and then break and put them together and then turn to Blearly. All right. Let's, uh, let's chase the mantle. There's going to be one entry being given away here. Good luck. Let's gather everybody's names, 1 through 32. Get all your names into a, a new list, clean list, new dice. Let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a two, five times. Name on top after five. Good luck. Fingers crossed, everybody. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. A lot of sad faces here. 31 sad spots. There can be only one. Adam Smitty, very close, just not quite. But thank you and everyone for, uh, for getting in. But after five times, there can be only one winner, and that's going to be Jack with the prism spot that you won. You are now chasing the mantle. Congrats. Good luck. And everyone else, we still have a lot of entries to go. Not a lot, but still a lot. We're over halfway there. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.